Oh, okay, go. Oh, say slow. Mon ain't no. Okay, go. Okay, go. Okay, go. Good boy. Dylan made oatmeal muffins and brought me my coffee. Good morning, everybody. Okay, we're gonna start vlogging more often because I figured it's just a better way to show you guys what I'm doing all the time. I find that even myself, like I wanna put out content that you guys wanna watch. I wanna put out content that I would watch myself. So we're gonna go through some of my outfits for Italy today, which I'm so excited for. And then, um, yeah, and just like random errands and stuff. Let's address the elefante in the room. I got my hair done and it doesn't look that good right now, but I will leave a clip up here of what it looks like. We went quite a bit shorter and quite a bit blonder. Yeah, that's a way better angle so you guys can see. So I did like some money pieces in the front and then it's just like a lot more like straight and blunt at the bottom. I have a whole highlight on my Instagram that says like what to ask for at the salon if you guys want a similar look and I have pictures on my Instagram as well. My hairstylist is Olivia Hun Hair. Um, I'll have her Instagram up here somewhere. Dylan and I are going to Italy really, really soon, like literally in a few days, and I haven't packed or done anything, so um, I just wanna keep this process going, and we're gonna vlog while we're there as much as we can. Look how pretty our house looks from this angle. It's so pretty. Oh, how cute. Look at this pile behind me. This is all stuff I've pulled for the trip, <laughs> but let's like put on makeup and stuff because I wanna feel like, I haven't worn makeup honestly in so long. I don't wear makeup when I'm home. I really only wear it when I film, but today I'm filming. So let's put a little bit on. We've got a perfect storm. We don't care about the second You're finishing off with a lip. I slicked my hair back today because I didn't want to heat style it, but I kind of look like an egg. Um, so anyway, I did my makeup and now we're going to do the lip. Um, you guys have been asking for it. This is the NYX Retractable Lip Liner in Natural MPL01. I kept saying it was nude. It is natural. And what I do is I overline like slightly just because I don't even know where my lip starts. Like that sounds weird, but like... Uh, I just go like this and like I have like a naturally like dark like lip line anyway so I basically just try to cover that and see up here I have like a little bit of a light lip line on the top weirdly enough I've always had that and so I just kind of cover that too so I don't know if I would consider that overlining or if that's where your lip starts and then if I'm feeling really snazzy, this is like as of lately, like I haven't done this, like this is like a new thing. I take my Buxom lip pencil in Covert Affair. It's a plump line lip liner. And then I, I naturally have like a, like see here, I have like a line here. I like to accentuate that. So I'll go here and I'll do that. And then I just blend it in. And I'll maybe highlight my Cupid's bow in that in this red color. It's my lip of the day right lately. You can add some gloss, but normally I just use Vaseline, but this is like a dose of colors one and the most. I think that looks pretty, very minimal. And lately, because I really like the way that jelly filter looks on TikTok, sometimes I'll take like a bronze color. So I'm using this Vesca one and Kissed by Diani. Diane and I'll take a little bit on this fluffy brush by Sephora. And I've just been like accentuating my bags. Like that sounds so weird, but like kind of like the way that looks because that's what the jelly filter looks like on TikTok. Should we do like a little highlight on my eyebrow, on my eyelids? We're gonna have some fun today. Yes, yeah, so it's pretty. It'll be even prettier when I have eyelash extensions tomorrow. I wish there wasn't this crazy mess behind me. Okay, let's figure that out now. All right, guys. So I have officially selected the shoes I'm gonna be wearing on the trip. It's a lot of walking in both Rome and the Amalfi Coast. So we're gonna go with these 4M Lows. I actually bought these for the trip and I painted the logos white on them because I didn't like the pink that I came with, but I will link them anyway because I think they're really great. 
So I'm gonna wear these with skirts, dresses, you name it. I'm bringing this pair of sandals. These are from Zara and they're really comfortable, like just as comfortable as my Tevas, but they give me a little height and they're more neutral. So we're gonna go with these. So I have this pair of sandals for fancy nights out that I'm gonna wear because to be honest, it's all cobblestone. I'm not a heels girl to begin with, so we're gonna do these. Okay, this is a dressing room revolve. I've showed it before. It's see-through. You can see my underwear. I know. So um, I don't know how warm it's gonna be there, but this is really cute. And then I have sneakers to go with it. I have this other set from Revolve that came with this really cute little like funny shrug. So I think if I want coverage, I'm gonna go with something like this. It's like a cardigan, but not. Actually, does that look weird? I can't tell if it looks like I have two arm casts or if it looks like a cardigan. Don't even look at the sleeves. Okay, you know what? Don't look at this, but I think I'm gonna bring this. I feel like it's very like Positano. Okay, outfit two. I did not tie the back right like at all. This is kind of a mess, but I think I'm gonna do it with these sandals. Um, I made you shorts. I also have a really cute little slip skirt I could do instead. I can use this top like twice because I can wear it with this one and like cute little sandals or even sneakers at night and I think that this is like a completely different look. I'm like not a floofy girl and I don't wear a lot of stuff like this, but I feel like in Italy you just, you gotta. I think this is a really cute vibe for the coast, but I don't know if it's really like a look, um, but it's an option. I'm gonna bring this green uh, button up because I like putting these over bathing suits anyway. And like, I feel like maybe not with, it depends on how hot it is, that's why I have this thing underneath, but I could also button it up and then tuck it in. So I could do that. Let's put some sunglasses on. Actually, I like this. Like, that's cute for Italy. I also have this little striped shirt moment. I feel like, I don't know how hot it is, like I've been saying, so I feel like this little tube top with the tennis skirt from Ritzy I just got, the shoes, this is like really cute because it's comfortable because you have shorts underneath for walking and all you need to do, you have some coverage if it's breezy, take it off, you get a good even tan. This is the other outfit I put together with the dress from Aritzia we just picked up. Um, I probably would do this with sandals because this is realistically a dinner outfit, but I can also wear it with the more platformy ones if I want to. I like this a lot too because it's really comfortable. You can put this over a bathing suit. Like if we're walking down to the beach, I can throw my bikini underneath and this is just really easy because we can go to lunch in it or whatever after. Like it with the sneakers. It looks cute with the sandals too. I've worn it like that. Um, yeah, this is a good, this could be good. This is a really good beach look. This is one of the bathing suits I'm bringing. I thrifted it in Florida a few years ago. Shorts, sandals. I may bring this silky top. I'm gonna have to see if this bathing suit works with any of the other tops that I brought. I love this weird giraffe print. I think it's really cute and this is so flattering. Like what a flattering fit. I really, really like this. This is like a very dressy dress, but just confirmed with Dylan, we're going to some nice restaurants. So I think this would be a look. This one's also from Revolver Song of Style, but I really like this. Let's try this on with that card again. I'm really trying to make this work, can't you tell? I just like love that it's light and I can just put it into my purse. Oh, that's better. Okay, so I can definitely do this together if it gets chilly. Um, and then I'm just gonna do sandals again because we can't be bothered bringing tons of shoes. So the little skirt I'm bringing for the other top, I think would look cute with this little bra top as well. I feel like I don't have outfits for Rome. There's this one dress I, okay, I have this one dress that I've never worn. So I got, I chose this one because I thought this would be perfect for Rome, but it's like a different vibe than everything else. So I'll try this on. You gotta let me know if I should bring it. Okay, so I love this dress because I think it fits me so perfectly, um, but it's very bright compared to everything else. I feel like this would be a cute look for Rome with like maybe like one of those big shirts that I'm bringing or something like that. Like. This just cinches you in at the right area. So I feel like I have to bring it, but like, I don't, I still don't know because it's just not the same color palette. So I don't want to waste space in my suitcase. So I don't know. I also have this dress that I feel like is so perfect for Italy because it has that like poochy vibe. And I think this would be really cute for a dinner. Like that is so cute. But again, like it's not the vibe, so I don't, I don't know. And that reminds me also, speaking of Pucci, I have a Pucci scarf that I know I need to bring because whether I wear this as like a, a sarong or like a bathing suit cover up 
or top you name it i think i like will need something like this anyway i'm not trying to get demonetized here so i'm not wearing it the way i'd like would wear it obviously in italy but i feel like this is definitely the vibe i'm definitely bringing a white swimsuit because whether i put this in my hair or wear it like this or whatever i think that this works so this is a yes okay this is more like the vibe for rome i think i'm just gonna i really want to bring these pants because they fit really perfect and i feel like rome will just be a little bit more i don't know just like more tailored and a bit more casual and then i can start transitioning into like more fall stuff because I think it does get a little bit cooler at the end of our trip, but at the same time, it's still a tank top. These are the Aritzia Effortless Pants. I don't know if they're in the short rise, guys, but they fit me perfectly, and I'm like 5'4"-ish, 5'5", five five. so um, just so you know, because I did try on another pair, and they were way too long for me, so I'm pretty sure these are the short rise, and I don't think they're the cropped, but they could be. So these pants are versatile. This is that same scarf again, and I think like... This type of look is really, really cute and chic. So I could do those sneakers. I can do it with any of the shoes I'm bringing. But yeah, I think black pants are just smart looking. So yeah, this is good. Let's put it with the sunglasses for the full vibe. This, <laughs> this top is definitely not tied properly. So we have to figure that out. But like, that's really cute. All right, guys, um, that's pretty much it for the try on part. I'm also going to bring this little Frankie's bikini swimsuit because I haven't worn it yet. And I think it's going to be like, this will be really, really cute, along with the matching top. I could put on one of those shirts or whatever. So that's going in the yes pile. <laughs> I guess you guys will just have to wait and see um, what I will actually be bringing. But I think we're off to a good start. I'm going to put away the rest of the clothes I know I'm not bringing for sure. Because it's like, that is like freaking me out. So we're going to put that away. So this is all the stuff I'm pretty sure I'm taking. We cleaned up this situation, put all our jeans back. They're not the straightest. I'll probably just rearrange that later before I leave and stuff, but I think we made good progress. What's going on down here, Binky? Binky, Binky? Hi, Binky. You're so cute. And it only cost me a few bucks to do. Oh. My goodness, guys. If low-rise jeans just aren't your thing, I totally get it. Honestly, they're not really my thing either. Out for the day, we're going to go to the Japanese dollar store because I want to see if there's anything for our trip. Um, it's pretty much the same outfit I was wearing like yesterday, even though you guys didn't see it. Uh, top is thrifted. Shorts are girlfriend denim. This belt's from Thread Up, but the brand is APC. And then these are my Nike Tailwind sneakers. I'm gonna actually try to get a picture of this outfit because I am like never ever actually ready. And um, it's cute. I'm gonna take a picture on this side of the road here because I want an outfit pic and this looks really cute. Did we get the shot? I hope so. Okay, off to a Momo. Okay, drink review. <laughs> so they're done. I got an iced coffee with no sweetener. This is a go-to. It's always good. Not being very adventurous. So we're headed to a Momo. That's a Momo. The best Japanese dollar store here. It's kind of like the only Japanese dollar store from what I know that's like a big retail chain i'm sure there's like smaller ones around but this is the one that we go to um yeah so we're going there now and i want to find hair accessories because i literally just broke this claw clip trying to get it into like my bun because my bun's like thicker now even though my hair is shorter so there's that let go they have the funnest little hair accessories here like isn't that fun these big barrettes can be really cute maybe that's cute have some bangs. I want to get a little guy for my um, cleanser. Should I do one of those? Let's do one of these. These are so cute though. Should I get a pink or a green? I don't know what pair. Okay, I'm gonna get these. The haul. Okay, just got home and we haven't eaten lunch, so we're gonna make nudes. 
It's very, very easy and should only take like 15 to 20 minutes. You put the whole one? That's a good question. I think it's still in my bag. There's one in my purse. Do, do, do. We went to the Dollar Tree and then I also went to Omomo. So two different dollar stores and while the water's boiling, let's show okay. you. Okay. First thing from Dollar Tree, we picked up this shirt and this shirt for a small cricket project. And then I also got two sets of claw clips. These are really inexpensive. Um, so I got those as well, the clear and the black, and then these. Guys, because I'm really trying to like make an effort and do like real hairstyles on the trip. And then I also picked up this like bejeweled crystal stuff for my Cricut project for those t-shirts. Why are you so itchy? Oh, you're so good, look at you. So then we also went to Omomo, you guys saw. I picked up these slippers for the trip because first thing, they're super adorable. Second thing, they were like $3 and I like wearing slippers in Airbnbs. I like wearing them in hotels. It's just like my thing. So we got those. And then I also got a little nail art brush. So I got that. Um, and I got a like teaser comb so I could do like a better middle part because I didn't really have a proper comb for this. And then I got a bunch of these like plastic squeezy tube things for our traveling. I got these nail stickers that are like different script letters. I think that these are really, really fun so I could spell out fun stuff. And then I got some black barrettes, just plain black barrettes. So I didn't spend that much money, but I think I got some good stuff. I feel prepared for the trip, but okay. Yeah, I've asked you guys about this before, but let me know if you guys change into like home clothes immediately when you get home. Like that's just something that I grew up doing and I don't know if it's because I grew up like with Asian grandparents and Asian parents and all that, but like that's just something that I do. So I'm gonna change out of this stuff and then we're gonna follow my noodle journey. We're changed, I need to find my slippers. They're always hiding somewhere. Oh my god, it's already boiling. Oh. We're gonna do those Asian noodles they have hanging out somewhere. They're really great. These ones, it's all in Chinese. I actually don't know what these are. But you just cook them for two minutes and they come in these little packs. Let's go do all of them. We have soy sauce, sesame oil, um, olive oil, we have rice wine vinegar, and we have a little bit of- Any of you guys make this like sesame noodle thing, just like let me know how you do it because I don't really follow a recipe. And lately I've been putting kimchi on top of everything and avocado. There you go. Got a perfect storm. We don't care about the second Looking wind. good. And then we have my sauce, which I don't think I made enough of. We got that, and then this is the kimchi I picked up from Whole Foods one time. It's just the wild brine Korean kimchi. And then our avocados are looking pretty ripe. You can tell because when you press in, it indents. So I'm going to be putting avocado on mine. Okay guys, this is the final look. Look. <laughs> final bowl. We got dumplings over here. We got kimchi, we got avocado, and we got the sesame noodles. I bet it's good. I mean, I haven't tried it yet, but that is what we are eating. I am going to be watching an episode of Million Dollar Listing and cut the vlog here, but I hope you guys enjoyed this one. There's going to be so many more, especially because we're going to Italy. So excited. Bye, guys. Bye.